Welcome to subtracting four digit numbers with regrouping zeros. Now this concept is a little bit more difficult uh, when we're regrouping as opposed to traditional numbers simply because there's a whole bunch of zeros in there. So just to remind you that uh, a subtraction is the difference and basically a difference means the difference in between two numbers so any number that's between two numbers. So over here we have the question 6,000 minus 4,932. So when we're subtracting this, we're basically finding the number that is in between 6,000 and 4,932. Now, as you can see here, 6,000, we have all these zeros right up on the top. And this poses a problem, simply because when we are going to be subtracting, you cannot subtract zero from anything. So, what are we going to do? we're going to regroup. So once again, we start from our ones column, which is right over here. And we have 0 minus 2. And of course, you cannot do 0 minus 2. That's a problem. So we're going to have to regroup. So we're going to take a look over at the tens column. And uh-oh, it's 0 again. You cannot borrow from the tens column because it's zero. All right, let's take a look at the hundreds column. Once again, our hundreds column also has zero. So we have this giant problem here that we cannot borrow from anywhere. The only place that we can borrow from is from the thousands column. So we're going to have to stretch all the way out and get it from the thousands column. So what you're going to do here is, is the exact same thing you're going to take your 1 from the thousands column. So this 6 now becomes a 5. Now what's going to happen to this 1 is it's going to be passed through all the way to the ones column. Alright, so this 1 goes to the hundreds column, to the tens column, all the way to the uh, ones column. And finally we could do 10 minus 2. Now, when this is happening, each of these zeros, since it's passing this one along, they now become nine. And the last digit becomes the ten. So now we could do the ten minus two. And because it's been borrowed all the way from the thousands column, uh, the hundreds is now a nine, and the tens is now a nine. The ones is a ten. So now we do 10 minus 2, we have 8. And now we could treat the middle two zeros as 9s. So we go 9 minus 3, and we have 6. 9 minus 9, 0. And 5 minus 4 is 1. So we get a final answer of 1,068. Now we have another question here at 7,003 minus 1,249. Now, a slight difference to this question is in the ones column we already have a whole number which is 3. Now it's the same thing. This 3 is going to be subtracted by 9 which is not possible. So we're going to have to borrow from the tens but we cannot borrow from the tens. Same method we're going to be borrowing from the thousands column. So take the 7, cross it off, it becomes a 6. The 0 becomes a 9. This 0 also becomes a 9. And then we have the 10, which is now at the 13. 13 minus 9 is 4. And we have our 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 2 is 7. And 6 minus 1 is 5. So we have 5,754. So, it's important to note that when you're subtracting with zeros from the top, generally the number, the zeros in the middle, will become nines, whereas the far right digit will use the number as a ten.